Well, get ready. CBDCs are coming to take your privacy away. Uh, get ready for the central bank digital currency um, and to help basically lose your privacy. Your ability to pay for things in cash, severely limited uh, or totally eliminated, actually, is quietly coming to the West. But other countries are saying, no, thanks. This is a bridge too far. We will get there in a moment. But first, a troubling trend right now of banks across the United States randomly deciding to shut down bank accounts with no reason given whatsoever. Imagine now you, you have no choice, right? Because now I don't have a bank account. I can't use a bank, so I'm being forced to use a central bank digital currency because I have no bank. So what's going on here? Three separate coin shop owners um, over the past few days uh, that sell gold, silver coins suddenly found their bank accounts just totally shut down. The coin shop owner who operates a coin shop dealing in silver and gold received certified letters from the bank saying, hey, we're going to start the shutting down process. Watch. I'll read some of the letter to you guys. And I've, I've heard of this happening before. I just didn't believe that it would happen to me. So, dear customer, we're writing about your account. After a recent review, we have decided to end our relationship with you and close your accounts referenced above. As stated in your account agreement, we can close your account at any time for any reason with or without notice. We will begin our closing process on September 6, 2023. So they gave me basically a month. Uh, and in the letter, it says they're uh, going to close even my credit cards I have with them. Isn't that nice of them? That's very nice of them. You even close your credit cards. What's shocking is that the bank declined to provide any reason at all for their abrupt decision. We've heard a number of stories of people being debanked um, over the past few weeks here at the end of the summer. Um, our friends over at the Gray Zone suddenly found out that their their GoFundMe pages were shut down. We saw that during the pandemic. Parents groups who lost their PayPal accounts for yeah. uh, advocating for school reopening. Trucker convoy in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is not new, but now these letters are coming and without any prior notice, affecting multiple accounts, including those belonging to his children and wife, also shut down, like you're shutting down your children's accounts too? For what reason? And there's no recourse. What can you do? What can you do? So federal governments are terrified of cryptocurrencies, and they don't want you stocking up on gold and silver. They absolutely don't want that. They want you to use their, uh, their currency, which they can print and create out of thin air that they have total control over. That's why they're you know, it's why um, th these companies are, are being sued out of existence. A lot of these crypto companies are being sued out of existence because they don't want it to be legal. They want crypto to be illegal. And they don't want companies to operate in this way. The governments want control. So now central bank digital currencies are coming, whether these countries are ready or not, according to the Wall Street Journal. And the CBDC is putting the government at the center of every single transaction. It gives the government's visibility into financial transactions, the ability to revoke money at any time. They don't like what you're spending it on. Tracking, of course, of gun sales, etc. It doesn't matter. They will revoke it. They will revoke your ability to buy these things. Uh, they've already been laying the groundwork for this during COVID, taking away cash. They don't want you to use cash. They told us, stay away from cash, of course, because COVID could live on the surfaces of that. And we're hearing it again now as we enter this new phase of COVID this fall. Watch. Well, health experts say the coronavirus can live on surfaces like cash for up to 10 days. That has many people worried about shopping and other everyday tasks. So now these dozens of countries are now moved out of this pilot program phase and they're getting closer to launching their CBDCs. Here is the CBDC tracking map to show you where things stand right now. So see if you can spot your country of choice here on this map. Let's just kind of go through what we're seeing here. Now, in pink is the 11 have launched 21 pilot programs, 33 developed in the development stage right now. The United States in the development stage, Canada, Mexico in the development stage, all of North America in the development stage, Brazil in the development stage um, and you can see again a lot of these turquoise Colombia in the development stage um, and then you have some of these in purple which are in the launched phase and you already have some that have said we're done with these things like we're, we're sort of inactive on these because we just don't think that it's working and now you have some who are saying we're done Senegal is saying we're done with this uh, Nigeria also reporting that we're done with this um, and you see some pilot programs, Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, Australia. 
Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, we're living in the midst of the great global reset. Without further ado, I'm just going to let the scriptures speak. So understanding what the great global reset is, right? It says the plant demic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. And this is a quote by Clara Schwab, all right? The executive chairman at the World Economic Forum. So pretty much the great global reset involves what? Getting rid of the old system in order to come up with a new one that gives the central bankers full control over people's lives, how they conduct buying and selling. Now, ultimately, according to the fourth industrial revolution, what's, what's the goal of that? To merge man to the system. Now, how are they going to do that? through the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. So you hear in talks about the CBDC, which is a central bank digital currency, it's programmable money, it's digital money. So since it's programmable money, it has to be programmed on a device. What device is that going to be? The mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. And this is the goal of the new world order slash 2030 agenda all right so this is what all countries is in the works of doing right now implementing a cbdc so don't be surprised if your bank closes down if you are locked out of your bank accounts all right because remember they said between 2023 and 2025 that there's going to be a cyber attack on the banking system what would be the purpose of that in order to come up with an entirely new system, have an entirely new system in place to get rid of the old system. So they want to ban cash. They want a cashless society. All right. So now let's just get into the lesson. This is Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 7. It says the rich ruleth over the poor. Who is the rich? The rich is the central bankers. All right. The Edomites that came up with this system that all countries is under. It doesn't matter what country you in, what language you speak, you know, your appearance as far as skin color, hair texture, none of that matters. If you go to any country, it's gonna have a central bank in it. Meaning what? That the Edomites, the so-called white man in sea line, right? The Rothschilds on down, that they control these countries through the money supply, through the banking system, all right? So it's saying the rich ruleth over the poor. Who's the poor? The poor is the people that have to operate under the central banking system, right? It says, and the borrower, which is the poor, is servant to the lender. Because no matter what country you win, you have to abide by the central banker's system, all right? If you leave it from one country to go to another country, you have to exchange the currency rate, which is still under the central banker's system, no matter how you put it, all right? So when they make the CBDC a legal tender, they want to ban cash. They want to get rid of cash. So that's what they are in the process of doing. So like I said, all these commercial banks that you see, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, you know, anything similar to that, they're going to close that down because they only want one true central bank left, which would be what? The Bank of England. All right. So now let's keep it going. This is our Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Yeah, referring to Edomites. This is the last time that your people is going to be in rulership. So if you got good credit, you know, max out your credit cards, all the money in your accounts, spend all that, you know, live it up. Because after this, your people is going into slavery. And I'm talking about the Edomites as well as the other heathen nations. For what you did unto the children of Israel. All right? So live it up. Because this is it. After this, you're going into slavery. You're going to be slaves for 1,000 years in the kingdom of heaven. 
And then after that, pursuant to Obadiah, the first chapter, your whole seed line, your whole nation is going to be exterminated, man, woman, and child, right? So it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, right, the word devil, when you go into it, the word there is diablos, right? And it says prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. And that's what the so-called white man does to the Israelites day in and day out. Just read Micah, the second chapter. They are always trying to devise different cunning ways to separate the Israelites from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's why you got to rise and force prophets. You know, you got these Hebrew Israelite camps outside of Great Millstone and the men that teach in like mine, they under that 501c3 charter. That's why they are incorporating Roman Catholicism with their doctrine. So they don't have the truth anymore. And who do you blame for that? The so-called white man. All right. Because he's trying to stop this truth, but you can't stop the truth. Pursuant to Acts, the fifth chapter. If this work be of men, you know, you can overthrow it. But if this work be of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, then you can't overthrow it. Right. So it says prone to slander. Yeah, the so-called white man is the biggest slanderer on the planet Earth, always pointing the finger at the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians when you put our people in this condition. You engineered our people, you know, to be stereotypes, to be a bunch of niggas, sluts, you know, a woman twerking, being the biggest whores on the planet Earth because you control the entertainment world. You control Hollywood. You control tell a vision, all right? It says, yep, a calumniator, so lucky if I'm saying that word wrong, a um, false accuser, slander. Yep, so that's pretty much it with that. So the word devil, it means um, slander, all right? But it could also mean deceiver because the so-called white man, he's the biggest deceiver from the Renaissance era till now, painting the images up to look like him. That the Most High, the God of Israel looks like him, the Messiah looks like him, the angels look like him, the Israelites look like them, all right? They stole our identity, they stole our land, so they're the biggest slanderer on the planet Earth, lying to everybody, deceiving the nations through their false philosophies and deceit, right? It says, the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. So this is the time period we're in. These devils, they're getting ready to come down with great wrath in the form of martial law, a global economic collapse, and as well as persecution. So it's going to be a time of trouble for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, right? It says, it's come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. When you look at the age of these elite banking families, they're old, you know? They're old. They're in like their late 60s, you know, 70s. You know, they're, they're old. They're starting to die one by one. So they got to hurry up and speed up this new world order agenda, which the end game of that is to try and implant everybody with a microchip implant. All right. Let's keep going. I'm going to end it with this. This is on um, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us. When you go into this word Satan in the Greek, the word there is Santanus. And what is it referring to? A Satan-like man. Referring to who? The Edomites. So Satan's physical counterpart on the planet Earth is who? The so-called white man in his sea line. The wicked. Pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4. So the scripture is saying, least Satan should get an advantage of us. How will Satan get an advantage over you? If you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you don't have the gift of faith, ultimately, if you're not a part of the elect, going back to Matthew, the 24th chapter, if it were possible, then shall, it, shall they be able to deceive the very elect. But it's, it's not possible. All right. You cannot deceive the elect. Why? Because the elect have the gift of faith. The elect have the Holy Spirit which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the blood and sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, right? So it says, for we, the hopeful elect, right? The elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing not be a part of that, are not ignorant of his devices. And when you go into this word devices, the word there is Nehemiah, and it means what? A mental perception, thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. 
So we're not ignorant to this man's agendas. We're not ignorant to his NWO agenda. We're not ignorant to this great global reset. We're not ignorant to the CBDC as well as the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. We know this man's agendas because it's in the scriptures. All right. So this is his ultimate agenda, the 2030 agenda. Right. Let's read some of this. It says summary of the document from their website. Right. The United Nations website. So it says they want a one global government. They want a one global cash free currency. This is why all nations was in the process of what? A CBDC pilot testing program, all right? And majority of nations, they have finished this. So this is letting you know what? They're getting ready to fully ban cash out of these countries, all right? Including America. So it says one central, one central global bank, which would be the Bank of England, right? Because that was the first central bank established when you do your research. It says one global army, end of national sovereignty, end of all national sovereignty, end of all private property. Because what did Carl Schwab and different um, people say? They said that the slogan of 2030 is that you will own nothing and you will be happy. You will be a complete slave. All right. It says the end of the family unit. It says population displacement control over the population growth and population density it says mandatory it says multiple mandatory v's as you can see there i don't want to say the word it says universal basic income right it says rationing policy here's the kicker it says transplanting microchips for purchases traveling surveillance and control so this is what this is all about the cbdc is not i repeat it's not the mark of the beast, all right? But it is the currency that's going to be programmed on the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is a device. It's the RFID chip implant, all right? When you read Revelation 13 and 17, it tells you that no man is going to be able to buy or sell, meaning he that has the mark, save he that has the mark. So that means the money is going to be on the chips. That's why you're not going to be able to buy and sell, all right? So I'm going to read it one more time. 2030 agenda. Transplanting microchips for purchasing, traveling, surveillance, and control. Implementing a global social credit system like the one used in China. What did Claude Schwab say? He said China is the blueprint for how they want the rest of the world to be. All right? China is under heavy surveillance. Right? So the same way how you see China being ran, which is an experiment, a blueprint for how the rest of the world is going to be ran, all right? This is going to come to America and the country you're in, right? It says trains of candidates connected to the G5 surveillance system. It says government to raise all children, government-owned schools and universities, end of private transportation car ownership, all businesses owned by the government, it says the corporation, restrictions of non-essential air travel, right? Carbon taxes, so forth and so on. It says humans will be concentrated in areas of human settlement, you know, aka FEMA camps, the quarantine stations, so forth and so on. It says end of irrigation, end of private livestock farms, end of family homes, limited use of the land in the service of human needs ban on non-synthetic natural remedies and neuro neuropathy it says end of fossil fuels all right so you know that's that's this man's agenda so we're living in the midst of all of this all right and it just takes one event for them to really come down with great wrath so i'm gonna read it one more time second corinthians 2 and 11 at least satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. So this man's agendas is in the Bible. It's Bible prophecy. All right. So Lord willing, you was edified by this lesson. Like I said, don't be surprised when these banks start shutting down. Remember, they have to replace fiat currency, which is paper money, with the CBDC. That's going to give them full control over everybody's lives. Right. Because they're going to control everybody's lives 
through buying and selling, then the last step is to put that programmable money, which is the CBDC, on that device, which that device is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. And they will make that mandatory throughout all countries. Lord willing, you edify by the lesson, shall the one.